What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are showcasing Lugia in Regulation G. Now, Lugia, very bulky Pokemon with, let's be honest, mediocre special attack. But that's where Combine is going to come into play, boosting its special attack and special defense, making this Pokemon an absolute unit. Lugia over here is a Psychic and Flying type with multi-scale as its ability, very good for a bulky Pokemon that wants to set up. On top of that, it's got Leftovers as its item to be able to recover HP at the end of every single turn. Its moveset consists of Aeroblast, which is its signature stab move, Earth Power for coverage, Calm Mind like we already mentioned, and on top of the Leftovers, we got Recover to get even more HP back. Absolutely love Lugia, I know a lot of you guys were happy or were waiting for me to make a Lugia video and here it is hopefully you guys do enjoy but other Pokemon that we have on today's team is going to be straight meta Pokemon we got Incineroar perfect Pokemon to pair up with Lugia and help it set up with fake out intimidate figgy berry for what's knock off parting shot again you guys seen that Pokemon plenty of times we also have water Urshifu pretty normal setup with that and then we got for Rigoraf, Rillaboom and Fluttermane on top of that Water going to be great for special attacking. Furthermore, this one has Icy Wind with the booster energy for a nice little speed control on this squad. Guys, you want to rent the scene for yourself? Rental code is at the top right-hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. Without further ado, let's hop into our first match showcasing Lugia in Regulation G. Going up against Coridon here in match number one. Coridon Sun Team with Fluttermane, Walking Wake, and Tay. Thunderous, and last but not least, they do have Frigraph. So the one problem with this team is we have no way of weather control. And weather control, let's be honest, a little bit of a problem, especially when going up against a bunch of Protosynthesis Pokemon. But I still think Lugia is going to be a solid lead for us. Furthermore, I think Incineroar could be good here as well. But I am going to go Incineroar. I am going to go Lugia. I'm going to look to fake out, maybe set up a Calm Mind, and get after it that way. Considering they have a decent amount of special attackers, I think we should be able to thrive out, especially with Earth Power on Lugia. If I get a Calm Mind or two set up, I'm going to like where we're sitting. But in the back end, I don't mind having Rillaboom. I know it's a Sun Team, but being able to have that first turn priority with Grassy Glide is pretty massive. It honestly is pretty massive. But one thing that could actually get on my nerves here is if they lead Thunderous and just go for Eerie Impulses. That could kind of mess up my whole Lugia strat that I want to do. But I'm going to go Rillaboom. I am going to go in with my booster energy flutter me. I just think that's pretty good. I think that's pretty good. So if I can just... The thing is about Rollboom, it's like, again, you're going up against Sun Pokemon with with fire moves like Entei. You got Walking Wake probably as Flamethrower. You have Coridon with Flare Blitz. The problem is that thing's going to die in one shot. But up against Fluttermane, if I can get off a of Grassy Glide and just KO that, I think that'd be worth it. But they're going to end up leaving both of these Pokemon, which I don't mind. I know you have Inner Focus on, on Entei here. So Fake Out is a little bit of an issue. I mean, Calm Mind is definitely going to want to be set up for us. So I'm going to go into a Calm Mind here. And I'm just going to go into a Parting Shot into the... Uh, into the what's called, the Fluttermane. Honestly, I'm thinking about faking out the Fluttermane because I think it's going to thrash slice into Fairy, but I'm just going to play it safe and just parting shot here. I swear, if you if you uh, thrash slice into Fairy, I'm going to be so upset because I always wanted to make that read. And no, he doesn't thrash slice. So that's good news for us. That's really going to chunk up a little bit of damage. Calm Mind is going to start bulking us up. We're getting bulky with it. We're getting bulky with it. So there's the Calm Mind boost. Special defense, special attack. And this thing is just going to snarl, which is kind of annoying. <laughs> not gonna lie kind of annoying a little, a little it's actually really annoying it's actually really annoying because i kind of wish we brought urshifu at this point party shot's gonna fly here it's gonna drop flutter mains attack stat and special attack stat it's gonna be really good for us i get to swap in Sinor back out so Sinor, get on out of here um i could maybe start throwing earth powers but i could also just go into this thing with booster energy could be really good because what do you what's that do you speed you do boost speed so you're gonna be fast on the field could maybe just go into you what's your terror type you got ground um i think i'm gonna terror ground and just look look to go for earth power because we need to get rid of this Entei. if it's just throwing out if it's just throwing out snarls we have to look to get rid of this Entei. so Fluttermain could potentially swap here which could be good for us Leftover is going to give us a little bit of HP. We got booster energy flying out here. And I feel as we just go Terra, Earth Power. And I could Shadow Ball into this thing. But again, I think it's more so swapping. I think we just Shadow Ball into, into Entei. 
Because B minus one for a Fluttermane, it's not ideal. It's not ideal. So they're probably thinking, hey, maybe I should swap. Maybe I should get Sun. Maybe I should protect. And we're going to Terrasalize here into straight ground because I need to get rid of this Entei. This Entei has got to go. So I'm looking to do as much damage as we can. This honestly isn't going to do any crazy damage, but it should be able to do enough. Or Shadow Ball can, uh, or this with Shadow Ball should be able to finish off the Entei. So we'll see what he wants to do. We're just going to throw Shadow Ball into this slot. I'm surprised he didn't protect or swap. And Shadow Ball is doing mediocre damage. Dazzle is going to follow through here. That's not too bad for us. There's power. Can you pick up the KO here? Can you pick up the KO? You don't. You don't pick up the KO. Sacred Fire is going to fly over in this slot. Just KO flutter me. Hurts the soul. Hurts the soul. So now, honestly, Wilboom's a solid Pokemon to actually get out here. Because. Because I could just grassy guy to get off some big time damage and save my Incineroar. I'm going to go Rillaboom here. And honestly, I might just Wood Hammer instead of Grassy God. And then just stick with the Earth Power to KO to Entei. Could you swap into anything? To stop Earth Power? Not really. So I'm going to stick with Earth Power here. Try to finish you off. And I don't even have Wood Hammer on you. Alright, Grassy God it is. Grassy God into the Fluttermane slot. The Fluttermane is still minus one, which we like. That's really not doing any crazy damage. And I think it, I honestly think Lugia and Entei are at a speed tie. Because if I remember correctly, Entei outsped us. Did he outspeed us like turn one? And we just outsped it there. Not too sure. But hopefully Lugia is faster. We can just pick up the KO. But he's going to hard swap Fluttermane. And you're going to go into Coridon here. So Coridon set in the sun. Looking a little scary. Harsh sunlight out and about. East speed's going to fly through here. And he just wants to get off some damage before he dies out. The Grassy Guide is going to fly into this slot. Being not very effective, but not too bad. The Earth Power is going to come out here. Um, I'm hoping this thing's not clear amulet. Because I would love to just swap Robum into... Into what's it called? Into Incineroar. Or do I... Yeah, no, I, ha I think I have to swap into Incineroar. And maybe set up another Combine boost. Could go for the combine boost. I mean, they still have Terra here. Arrow Blast is not bad considering this thing is fighting. I am neutral on special attack. Plus one on special defense. They're going to bring out Walking Wake here. Which Walking Wake's terrifying with Hydro Steam. It's terrifying with Hydro Steam. But you know what? I'm going to go for the Arrow Blast here. I'm going to look to rip up into that. And from here, I'm just going to swap into Incineroar. Save my Rollboom. Have another fake out. Try to go from there. So Lugia, pretty bulky, but Hydro Steam. Mm. <laughs> we don't like Hydra Steam here. Especially because we did Terra Ground. So we want to get rid of Entei. So Incineroar is going to fly out here. Fingers crossed for no clear amulet. It is clear amulet. Yeah, a lot of Crydons rock clear amulet. It's just such a good item for it. He ends up just protecting it. Okay. That's a that's mediocre turn. This He's going to get blocked. And you're going to go for, for a Flamethrower. Okay, so Flamethrower instead of Hydra Steam is actually pretty good. Now I have Fake Out ready to go. Now I have Fake Out ready to go. Now the real question is, who do I fake out? Karide on here? Or Walking Wake? Could use this for a Combine Boost. That, that, that wouldn't be bad. And honestly, I am going to use it for a Combine Boost. I think we need the Combine Boost. So I'm going to fake out the Walking Wake here. Because I can see Karide on maybe swapping here. But if Crydon's going to do anything, it is just going to be take out my uh, Incineroar. But they do end up swapping, so the fake out combine boost is going to be beautiful. Because that puts us plus two at special defense. And plus one on special attack. Which is great. The speed's going to get heightened. He's going to get both these Pokemon out here. And he's just going to protect there. Okay, that's fine. Not that big of a deal. And chances are Incineroar dies out here. Unless he can soak up like a Dazzling Gleam. And then be able to Figgy Berry up. Which would be huge. I'm going to be able to combine. Combine boost. Him. The combine is here. We're ready to go. Um, we have to start attacking these Pokemon. And honestly, I think Walking Wake's got to go first. Walking Wake probably has to go first. So I'm going to go for an Arrow Blast here into this slot. And I'm going to try to pull off a Parting Shot. I would love the Parting Shot into this Fluttermane. I would love the Parting Shot in this Fluttermane. We have a very bulky Lugia on the field. We got a very tough matchup here. Trying to make... 
things happen. But I knew this one was going to be a tough matchup. That's what Gleam Flies. Incineroar's Figgy Berry should pop. Beautiful. We love it. The figgiest of berries popping. Back up to half HP. Hydra Steam going to fly into you. How much damage is this doing? That's a lot of damage. That's a, that's a, that's a, that's a nice chunk of damage. He's going to lose some HP. He is at Life Orb. Aeroblast going to fly here. How much damage are we doing to that? Oh, that's some nice damage there. Parting Shot's going to fly. So we Parting Shot. We have Fake Out ready to go yet again. Fake Out is ready to rock. It's ready to go. Ready to rock. And I might just Grassy Guide into... Let's be honest. I might just Grassy Guide into Walking Wake instead of Faking Out. He might Protect, but... Honestly, I could Fake Out and recover this turn. This is not a bad turn. Depending on how many turns are left in... uh. Let's see how many turns are left in grassy terrain. Because if it's one, we're gonna we're, we're kind of forced to go into grassy god here. But if it's two, I would fake out and maybe just recover here. It's one. It's one. So I'm gonna go arrow blast into this slot. I'm just gonna grassy god into this slot. But let's see. They might protect. We did parting shot into that, and he ends up withdrawing. So Crydon's gonna take massive damage here. It's gonna take massive damage here. A bit too much damage. A bit too much damage. Please tell me Walking Wake's not protecting. It does protect. Hate it. I want this grassy terrain, though. I might just hard swap into Incineroar next turn. Might just do it. But I get back a ton of HP here. Leftovers in, in the terrain HP. Actually, terrain HP we might not get back. But Aeroblast, super effective. Dumping on Karida. Come on, man. We got a good matchup here. Lugia, getting work done. And Sun should be ending. Yes. Sun ends. Hydro Steam, gone. Protosynthesis, gone. Well, Hydro Steam's not gone, but it's not doing as much damage as it as it did. That's that's huge. That's huge. But I do get the uh, Grassy Terrain HP, and I'm back up to 160. About we get thriving out here up against two special attackers. We got the special defense boost plus two, and we have one special attack boost. Loving it. So to go back into Fluttermane, the parting shot was a great call. Um, I like Robum's HP here. And Arrow Blast is 95 accuracy, so I am just going to go into an Earth Power. Earth Power should KO, right? No, you know what? We're just going to play it safe. I'm going to do this, and then just go into a Grassy Guide into this thing. Double down into Walking Wake. Yeah, and got to make sure Walking Wake drops out here. They still have Terra, don't they? They still have Terra. Which I'm surprised they haven't used yet. I'm really surprised they haven't sent it. Especially on, like, Fluttermain Fairy. And here it comes now. This is going to be Fluttermane, or Fairy Fluttermane, right? It's got to be. Now, it's going to be Walking Wake into what typing? Into Water. I think you probably should have used that earlier for Hydro Steam, but I think I understand the problem with going straight Water with Roll Boom on the field. The Moon is going to fly here. We are super bulky. We should be able to soak up a Hydro Steam here. Without the Sun, you should soak this up. I'm going to be very upset if you don't. You do. Awesome. That's massive. That's massive. That is massive. And Roboom outspeed. Roboom doesn't. I was gonna say if Roboom outspeeds, Grassy Guy can KO and Arrow Blast can slide over. But now Grassy Guy is gonna slide over, and this pretty much puts us in a winning position. We still have Incineroar. We got leftovers cooking. Um, trying to think what, what we should do next turn. I think we should just keep attacking, right? Kind of sucks. My HP is kind of low. Swapping my Lugia really won't do anything. So I might as well just go for another Arrow Blast and go for a Grassy Guide here. Honestly, I'm at solid HP with my Incineroar. What am I at? Half? Like 111? I think so. But they finally canceled battle. But that was a seriously solid matchup. Lugia bulking up and getting work done. We played Lugia perfectly in that last one. That's exactly how you guys got to play Lugia. Set it up. Get it bulking, get it doing some big time damage with Arrow Blast, and get in the win. But we're going up against a pretty cool team here in match number two with Pikachu, Charizard, Blastoid, Sylveon, Armrouge, and Grass Ogre Pot. Really cool. I like Lugia here for the lead, and I think I'm also going to lead it with Intimidate and Cinnamon. I mean, they only have one physical attacker, but I feel as Parting Shot and Fake Out could really come in clutch, so I like that a lot. We'll bring Urshfu in the back end, and last but not least, Flutter Flutter Mean. Gotta love Fluttermane. You gotta love Fluttermane. But honestly, Incineroar was so clutch with parting shots, especially into their Fluttermane. Two times making them force to swap out and lowering their special attack. It's just so big. Parting shot can come in clutch. It really does. That's why Incineroar is one of the GOATs, or if not, is the GOAT of competitive play. It's just so strong. It really is.
being able to fake out control, intimidate, parting shot, take off items now, it's just absurd. It's just absurd. But they're going to end up going into Blastoids and Sylveon. So Calm Mind Boost is going to work lovely. Um, I am scared of Blastoids potentially Shell Smashing. So I think we are just going to fake out Blastoids over, over Sylveon. I mean, I could fake out Sylveon because Hyper Voice looking a little scary. But, I mean, I'm pretty bulky on Special Defense, so... I'd rather fake out the Blastoids and not allow it to Shell Smash up, if that's the case, right? Because a lot of Blastoids do like the Shell Smash. And I don't blame them. Their stat boosts are ridiculous, especially with the White Herb. You get crazy stat boosts, and your Blastoids start driving out from there. But Fake Out's gonna pop, chipping up a little bit of damage. It does have Rocky Helmet. Don't like that. Don't like a Rocky Helmet damage. And Calm Mind Boost. Love Lugia, man. Calm Mind Boost. And especially up against two special attackers. And it's gonna be forehand, so I get the bulkiness going. So there's the Hyper Voice, are you Throat Spray? And look at how much we soak. Oh my god, Lugia, chill. I might go for another one. I probably should go for another Combine Boost. I probably should. I mean, Incineroar most likely dies out to whatever. Uh, actually, no, we might be able to get off another one here. Uh, I'm just going to go for a Parting Shot into Sylveon here. Just to neutralize it back down. And so I'm just going to protect, which I, I don't mind. Are you shell smashing? What are you doing? Because I'm boosting this little guy. I'm boosting this thing. Plus two on both. I'm boosting. I might even go for another one. I might even go for another one. Who says I can't? Are you shell smashing? Are you shell smashing? Party shot is going to be blocked. You're going for flip turn. Alright. Now the question is, does Sylveon outspeed Sinor. It kind of sucks my Figgy Berry didn't trigger there. I really wanted my Figgy. My Figster would have been clutch. Now we got Lugia plus two on both of our stack categories. Ogre Pond's going to fly out here. Um, I'm back up to full HP. And Ogre Pond, let's be honest, it's got to go. It's, this thing's got to go. Um, I'd rather Arrow Blast into... Actually, no. I'd rather just... I'm going to Arrow Blast into this slot. I'm going to go for another parting shot if we can. Let's see what he ends up doing here. He's gonna put on the mask, I think. No, I think this might be Sylveon. So Sylveon's gonna get Terra. Yep. Sylveon's gonna get the Terra. It's gonna go straight fairy. So that's looking a bit scarier. I mean, Lugia is flying type, which is great up against Ogre Pond, because I believe Ogre Pond, this Ogre Pond is really only hitting move. It's going to be Ivy Cudgel. But decides to go for a follow me, which isn't a bad play. I mean, Air Blast might be able just to dump on this thing, right? Oh, you're sash, you little biscuit. You little sash. He sashed up. He sashed up. And Parting Shot is just going to fly into this thing. And I'm able to swap freely. But the problem is, if I go into Urshfu, that thing's dead. And you got the fight as well. Um, this thing's plus two. Or he's plus three now on attack. Alright, your problem. You have to go into somebody fast. Urshfu might be the call. But if I go into Urshfu here, he's dead. He's dead. So Fluttermane's got to be the player. I do have Icy Wind, which is actually gorgeous. And I'm going to go into Fluttermane. So we're going to have to deal with a plus one Terra boosted Sylveon here. And here it comes. Alright, so Lugia, no problem, so I'm not worried about you. Fluttermane, on the other hand, he had some damage. Like, Lugia, look at that. Look at that. And then I got leftovers. Then I got leftovers. Shouldn't have let me set up. Shouldn't have let me set up. So now I'm sitting here. Um, definitely want to go for an Arrow Blast. You have no first turn priority, so Icy Wind can just fly here. You want to go for follow me? You can go for follow me. It don't matter. I'm still hitting both here. And we know Fluttermane is out speeding due to booster energy. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And we're hoping Arrow Blast could KO. I mean, Sylveon's rather bulkier on the special defensive side, so I could see it not KOing. But still, being plus two, I think Arrow Blast has a, a chance of critting. It's going to be nice. But they're going to end up hard swapping Ogre Pond. Save them for later. Not a bad call. And let's see who they end up going into. They're going to Armor here. Armor Rouge. Armor Rouge comes out here. Little speed drops for the squad. And Arrow Blast gonna follow behind. And can you just KO this thing? Don't. Again, like I said, that thing's kind of bulky. But Hyper Voice gonna fly here. Um. Wow, you get a crit on Lugia. That's a little absurd. Not cool. Not cool that you just crit Lugia. But I still feel as we're in, a, we're in a decent position to win this game. That's so lame. You got a crit on my Lugia with just a hyper voice. All right, that's it. I'm bringing out Urshfu. All right, so Urshfu going to fly through here. Um, 
honestly, I mean, with the Pokemon that they have here, they could swap into Blastoids, but I am just going to go for an Earth, uh, not, do I go for an Earth Power here? Say Earth Power KOs to Sylveon. No, we're just going to stick with Arrow Blast, and I'm just going to go for Surgeon Strikes in this slot. If you want to swap, you can swap into Blastoids. I should still be able to chunk up damage. Oh, man. If you didn't get that crit, we would have been sitting. This Lugia would have been just, just won this whole game. Let's be honest. This thing's won the whole game. Would have won the whole game. But I still feel like we have a hot shot at winning this game. Lugia's super bulky. I mean, I could recover if I wanted. But the position we're in with both these Pokemon slowed, I could just pick up KO onto Sylveon and then Surge of Strikes into the Arm Rouge. If he wants to swap, you can swap. That's totally fine. You can go into Blastoids. Blastoids can still take a chunk of damage, but Rocky Helmet. Rocky Helmet. Don't like you, Rocky Helmet. You just protect Sylveon. Okay. So Rocky Helmet going through chunk up a little bit of damage here. Um, Charging Strikes gonna fly. I do get leftovers HP. Rocky Helmet's actually gonna do a lot of damage to me. Do you, do you by chance have Quick Attack? That's the real question. That's the real question. I should have switched them. I should have went for Charging Strikes into Sylveon. Let's be honest, because Sylveon, if anybody was going to protect it, would, would have been Sylveon. I could just hit through it. Quick Attack would be scary. Arrow Blast is going to get blocked. Um, I think we might just switch those up now. Arrow Blast into the Blast slot. You could fake out. You could fake out. I might double down on Sylveon. I think I have to double down on Sylveon. If you have fake out, we have to double down on Sylveon. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So I'm going to go for Arrow Blast. I am going to go for Surgery Strikes. And I'm going to double down on Sylveon. Blast Slides could have fake out. So I have to get rid of this Sylveon here. Sylveon, you have to go. You have to get on out of here. I'll give it to our opponent. They're playing pretty well here. Again, that crit, man. That crit. There's the fake out. Good. Dude, I'm the main. I'm the main. Good call. Good call, Jeans. Great call. Gotta double down to Sylveon. Just in case they fake out one or the other. Great call on my end. Love it. Love it. Love it. So now, Blastly's sitting here. Mediocre HP. Lugia getting back more HP than it ever has. Um... They bring out Ogre Pond, we just Aqua Jet into it. And we just start Arrow Blasting his left slot, right? They don't have Terra anymore, which is awesome. I like our typing, so I'm not going to Terrasalize. I just love where we're sitting. I like where we're sitting now. So they bring back out Ogre Pond. Yeah, we definitely have to Aqua Jet that slot. I mean, you could spike your shield, but I'm just going to go Arrow Blast into Blastoids. And Arrow Blast should KO Blastoids. And sorry, you're going to spike your shield, or just go for a follow me. I mean, it's whatever. And there's Aqua Jet. Bop. See you later. Get on out of here, Ogre Pond. And Lugia, can you just KO this Blastoise? Arrow Blast is so good. It's so good. And we get the crit. We get the crit. Let's go. Let's go. Arrow Blast does have a boosted crit chance. So I'm not getting lucky. It's just the move. It's just the move. But yo, Lugia is lighting it up today. Absolutely lighting it up. Absolutely lighting it up. We love this move. So out comes our final Pokemon, back in the armor, no terror, staring a Urshfu in the face. And our Earth Power Lugia, plus two on special attack. That is going to be game, set, match. They probably just canceled. Yep, 2-0. Well. Let's go hop into our third. So guys, something that we forgot to do during the team preview was give a huge shout out to the team creator. So Adrian, huge shout out to you. Thank you so much for making this team and sending it to me over on Twitter. I'm loving it. We are killing it with this squad. But we're going up against a mere ride on team here in match number three. And honestly, Lugia is actually pretty solid here. I do like it alongside with Incineroar. So I'm going to lead that yet again. Actually, we're not going to lead that yet again because of Defiant King game. can be a little bit of a problem for us. So I might just lead it with Urshifu or even Rollaboo. I think Rollaboom could be solid, so I'm going to go into both of them. I am going to bring Urshfu and Fluttermane in the back end, and that is going to be the squad. And we're going to look to grab ourselves a perfect record here in today's video. But I like Lugia here, because Mirror Rhydon, Electric, obviously going to be super effective onto our Lugia. But we do have Ground Terror, which is absolutely massive. We can dodge a move if we need to, so I like it. We're going to look to Combine Boost. I'm probably going to lead King Gambit, hence the reason why I lead Rollaboom. I would have loved to lead Incineroar, but let's see. They end up not, but I actually like Rollaboom here. I actually like Robo. So we get the fake out the Mirai right on here. I am going to get a Combine Boost set up here. We're going to really hope that this thing's not Covert Cloak, but I really doubt it's Covert Cloak, right? Like, you're not Covert Cloak. And we actually take Terrain right off the rip. That's huge. That's huge. Robo just takes Terrain, just like that. He's going to get a Pro Synthesis Boost. Speed is going to get boosted. I mean, you could go for a Shadow Ball. I am just going to go for a Combine Boost here. So Combine, fake out into the Mirai right on. And hopefully this thing's not Covert Cloak, correct? Awesome. Dope. Watermain's going for Ice Wind. No big deal. A little bit of speed control. You were already outspeeding us. It didn't matter. 
It didn't matter. Both your Pokemon were already outspeeding us. As long as it's me riding on Funches, which it does, we're getting this Combine boost. Again, yo, Lugia thriving with Combine. Love it. I love it. Thriving. Getting after it. Getting after it. A little bit of HP is going to get restored. No big deal. No big deal. No big deal, because my Lugia is doing the same thing. My Lugia is going right back up the full. Lugia is going right back up the full. Actually, nope, it's flying. It doesn't get that. It doesn't get that terrain. But I could terrestrialize and just go for an Earth Power if I want to. Might be my best bet. Yep, I'm going to do that right off the rip here. And then I'm just going to Grass Guide into Fluttermane with the Grass Terrain. Looking to do as much damage as we can. So, Earth Terror or Ground Terror, whatever you want to call it. I mean, it's called the Ground Terror. And we're going for its Earth Power. So, honestly, I love it. That takes away two of our weaknesses. One's going to be Shadow Ball from Fluttermane, Ghost Saint moves. And two is going to be Electric moves from Miradon. So, this is just great. So, Grass Guide going to fly here. And dump on Fluttermane. We love that. Fluttermane gone with a crit. We love it. We love it. He's going to go for a Bolt Switch, which does not affect me. Awesome. You ride on. We might dump on you here, too. Super effective. Terra boost it. Plus one special attacks. We don't dump on it, but still, I love the damage. I love the damage. So now we're sitting here in a solid position. Lugia back up to full HP. It now gets grassy terrain. HP recovery, which is awesome. And I like where we're sitting. Now I throw out Incineroar, I mean, now's a good time for me to maybe hard swap into Urshifu. I could hard swap into Urshifu. I mean, he's just going to fake me out. He's just going to fake out Lugia, let's be honest here. I'll go for Combine Boost. And I'll just go for High Horsepower here. Yep, he just fakes out Lugia. No big deal. Maybe I should have just High Horsepowered that, but again, there, there was my thought process. Bolt switch coming into the roll boom. He's swapping out anyway, so high horsepower into the incinerators our best bet. I know we're minus one. But I just didn't want to swap into say like Urshifu here and have a problem. So now we can swap into Urshifu. We do have a nice on the ground tire. Lugia's gonna flinch. High horsepower gonna fly, do like negative five. Actually did a bit more than I thought it would. And Lugia, guess what? Back up to full HP. But I still have Terra. I mean, most likely it is going to go into this uh, Ogre Pond. And I might just Earth Power into this slot. Let's just get rid of Incineroar. And then hard swap into Urshifu. Yeah, I like that. So Urshifu going to come out here for us. I mean, most likely going to Terra Terrastalize that Ogre Pond for that attack boost. Probably just go into a Horn Leech. That's what, I, that's, that's what I would do. And yeah, that's, that's exactly what you're doing. Unless they're going for a IV cudgel into the Robo slot, but I doubt it, right? I doubt it, because if they want to just take out Robo, they would just layer blitz from the instant or slot. But this is why I brought in uh, Urshifu. I mean, you actually probably outspeed Urshifu, which is a slight issue. It's definitely a slight issue. And there's the Horn Leech, which does massive amount of damage. But too much damage. Earth Power, we're going to fly here. We're going to send it over onto the instant or slot for the KO. For the KO. Okay, so that's a decent KO. We still have Focus Dash, which is really big for me. Really big for me. I get back some nice HP. Um, I could let Lugia die or I can hard swap Lugia. I mean, they're going to go into Miraidon. I don't mind that. I don't mind that. Again, I'm Sash, but you're, you're a bit fast. You are a bit faster. You are a bit faster. And honestly, we're going to swap in the Wilbum here. We're going to go certain strikes here. Maybe I should have protected him this turn. But I do get terrain control, which is nice. So we get rid of your terrain. So, you know, we had enough of that. We are Sash, so we're hoping they're just not doubling down in Urshfu, which is, would be the only problem with this turn. If they don't double down in Urshfu, we should have a solid turn here. They're going to be going to fly here. Do not double down in Urshfu. Do not tell me you're doubling down in Urshi. No shot. you got to be going for Horn Leech into this road slot. You have to be. You have to be. Horn Leech... Into the Robum slot. That's massive. That's massive. Because Surge Strike should finish you off. Yeah, no problem. We only need two of them. We only need two out of three, yo. Urshu hitting like, oh. We need all three. Hold up, man. We need all of them. We need all of them. Living on one. But Urshu hit like a truck. No problem. Thing really lived on one. Thing really stopped that one. Made me use my third Surge Strikes. Get it on out of here. So now we're sitting here. Be right. I can't swap out, which is awesome. It's beautiful because it's minus two on special attack. And it doesn't have terrain, so we've been countering it with Robin all game today. 
all game. Oh, it's the last Pokemon. Okay, so high horsepower. Aqua Jet. I mean, close combat. Let's just do that. GG's battle was canceled. 3 0. This Lugia team thriving in today's video. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Lugia killing it on the casual ladder. Another huge shout out to my boy Adrian for making this absolute banger of a team. This Lugia just works so perfectly, especially paired up with the Incineroar and Rolum being able to fake out and set up the combine super easily. But, guys, that is going to be for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positive today, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.